Okay. I like this right here. So Mikey Garcia is going up against the most hated boxer in America, in my opinion. That's Danny Garcia. I hate that dude with a passion. You might as well say casual boxing talk. Hate Danny Garcia, man. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you like this, man. Redemption story for my boy Mikey Garcia. Listen, Mikey, you let me down against the way Bully Spence. You told me you seen something in the way Bully. But when you got in the ring with him, it seemed like you forgot everything you was talking to the buildup. You see me? But at the end of the day... Here's your chance to put money back in casual box and talk pocket because everybody on YouTube laughing at me in the comment section with the dollar signs. Yeah, CBT. I done took all CBT money, man. I got a few coins left, man. Now, Mikey Garcia versus Danny Garcia, you know, Puerto Rican versus Mexican. Yeah, I think that's going to be the storyline right there. I think that's what's going to build this fight. I think this fight going to do big numbers. I hope it ain't on pay-per-view because I don't buy pay-per-view. I'm rocking with the zone. If you ain't rocking with the zone, you better get it today. You understand? what I'm saying now at the end of the day man this is a great fight in a great matchup I think I think that Danny Garcia you know the fact that I don't like him, I still got to call it down the middle. I think his jab is underrated. I think his jab is working. It's, it's been clicking, and it's been looking great. He has improved that jab. He has improved his footwork as well. He has improved on the front toe as well. He's no longer a guy that's just waiting for the action, waiting to counter punch you with the no-look hook. He's a guy that's actually being, you know, conservative. He can, he's inserting his uh, dominance. He's inserting his power. He's inserting his jab. And that's what he's been missing. That's the reason why I was always calling him a bum. Mike Garcia, on the other hand, is a mover, right? Counter puncher, aggressive at times, you dig? He's known to be a warrior. But for me, I'm like, yo, bro. Would you get against the weight bully Smith? I can't even give you keys to victory for Mikey Garcia, right? Because it's like, yo, what can you actually do when you step up? Or maybe it's the weight. Maybe it's the height. Maybe it's the strength for the 147 pounds. I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to, you know, break this down based on what we know about Mikey at 130, 135. But then how good can that be when you're not fighting a 130 or 135 pounds? You're fighting a bona fide 147 pounder with strength and power. That's going to hit you with that no look hook That got a good jab But I'm putting money on Mikey I'm going to go with the guy that I like for real for real And I know I'm a little bit tight at Mikey for losing to, to the way Bully And I think that he could still I think he could have did more against Mike, against the way Bully I still believe he could have did some different things Because there was some openings there But Danny Garcia I'm going to have to go and look at some film man And I really got to come you know, with some real some real tools and real keys to victory for this fight, man, because it's really difficult, guys. I mean, Mikey Garcia is a small fighter, right? I mean, what he going to do? How is he going to get on, get on the inside? You know, Danny got the hook. Danny got the jab. Danny got the length. Danny got the height. Like, so what can we do? What can we say that Mikey can do, you know, so spectacular that's going to, you know, allow him to get in the inside and go to the body, go up top? Allow him going to, to use his... His, his, his leg work, his movement. I don't see that because you couldn't do it against the weight bully. What you was able to do against the weight bully, off the, straight, off, the, off the top of the head, man, what he was able to do was play defensive. Like, he was using defense well. You know, the weight bully went to the body, he was blocking. The weight bully went up top, he blocked half of that. He was moving out of the way. He was moving from the corner to one corner. He didn't get trapped by the way Bully Smash. But then we got to say, well, the way Bully, he ain't got the best footwork. He ain't got the best jab. He ain't got the best killer instance. So, and he was kind of taking it light. Like, he didn't really want to get in the pocket with Mikey because he was scared of, or nervous of Mikey Power. So, we don't know, B. So, I got to sit down, break it down, look at some more film. But I'm riding with, with my boy Mikey Garcia. I got to do it. And I just told you, I'm not talking from a bias standpoint. I'm telling you what I'm looking at, just knowing these guys as fighters in the ring. And I'm like, damn, I got to go with, I don't know, man, but I'm going to ride with Mikey because Mikey owed me a few dollars, and I think he could come home with the victory, man. I knew this fight was going down. I called this fight like three weeks ago, if not a month ago, you see me? But it's a good thing. I, You know, I thought that uh, the Crawford versus Danny was going to come down the pipes. They was talking. They was doing, saying some different things. I heard it was like $5 million offered to the boy, Danny. And I think, you know, for Danny, you know, it's more like, look, I can fight against Mikey 
and I have, you know, 90% chance to 40% chance to beat Mike, you know. And uh, Crawford, that's a tall order. You see what I'm saying? And Mikey is a big draw. Mikey, pay-per-view. Mikey got fans. Mikey Mexican. That's the heart of boxing at the moment right now. So why not go this route if we talking money, right? Now, my boy Crawford fighting Kell Brook, that's exclusive. That's, that's a, that's, that, it, look, it ain't pay-per-view, but I'm pretty sure Bob want to get that get back, get his money back. So that's a great fight. You understand me? We're going to talk about that in the next one, man. I'm sorry I couldn't give you no more than what I gave you as far as with this fight because I got to go sit down and, and watch some film. You just can't be talking. You see me? Like, I can tell you, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's a 50-50 fight. But I'm going around with Mikey Garcia. I just got to go and look at some tape so I can come back and break things down to you and show you different things that I see and maybe you see and we can agree on some things. But at the end of the day, put your money on award. Let's talk about this fight. Let's build this fight up. This is a great fight. The summertime of boxing is lit. We got some great fights coming down the pipe, man. But them... But the Kell Brook versus Crawford, that's the fight right there, B. You heard? At the end of the day, you rocking with your boy CBT, man. Holla at your boy. Subscribe to the channel, man. Something like something easy. Peace. Subscribe on your way in. Subscribe on your way out. You rocking with your boy. Casual boxing talk. What's shaking? What's good?